23-year-old Sua Osama and her family have been marching against the government of President Omar al-Bashir since protests began in December. I'm going to protest with the whole family. We won't come back until the regime falls. But what started as a march Saturday turned to a sit-in at military headquarters. We've been protesting for four months since December 19. We have only one demand. The regime must fall down. We won't go backward. We won't compromise. Everyone will sit here in front of military headquarters until the regime totally falls down. President Bashir on Friday night had called for dialogue with his opponents. Elections, says Sudan's government spokesman Hassan Ismail, are the only possibility for change. The door to dialogue won't be closed. The government's mind will still be open to deal with anything in the political arena. Its hands will be open for anyone, even those who refuse dialogue, who raise their demand to bring down the government instead. But on Saturday, the same possibility for changing leadership in 1985 was raised, a military takeover. As security forces moved in to clear protesters, Sudanese troops stepped in, confronting and clashing with security personnel. Sudan's interior minister said Monday that at least six people were killed in the weekend protest in Khartoum and 2,500 others arrested. Analysts say the protests over food and fuel shortages have snowballed into widespread anger at all aspects of government. Street protests are a result of accumulations lasting for a long time. The inaccessible power structure and defensive approach eventually resulted in failure. The actions of Sudan's military has no doubt sent a shiver through the presidential palace. Regardless of whether or not the military goes further, the biggest challenge to Bashir in his three decades in power are the thousands of determined protesters like Suha Osama and her family. For Naba Mohadeen, I'm Sharon Shahid for VOA News.